see what it's doing. Watch this. Look at that. Find the hole. I can. Today we're going to talk about another method of using oxalic acid vapor uh, to treat bees for mites. And this is a little uh, tool I ordered from, uh, it's called the uh, Jono's Easy Vape. It's basically very similar, if not the same thing, basically as the Pro Vape 110 that's advertised for nearly $500. This is much more affordable. And I heard about it, ordered it, and I really like it. So basically what it is, it's a heat gun. Uh, this is a temperature control over here. This controls the temperature. This gets up to 450 degrees. And the idea is that you put your oxalic acid in this little cup. You initially put it on the cup like this so it's not in the heated chamber. And then you flip it over, you tap it, the uh, powder falls down into the heater here and immediately it will shoot vapors into the hive. And when the temperature reaches 450 degrees, on here, then it's completely uh, vaporized. Then you move on to the next one. So I'm gonna show you how I do that here in a minute. So this is what I've been using. Jono's Easy Vape, it really works well. Okay, so I just plugged this in, as you can see. For ease of demonstration, I decided to do this little nuke box up here on the, this little platform a little at first. So you can see it's heating up. It'll take a little while to, to build up at 450. See the green in the bottom says 450, that's what it's gonna heat up to. So let's see how long that takes. It usually just takes it a minute or two, it's pretty fast. While it's heating up, you can see right here, I've got the uh, acetic acid in the little cup ready to go. It's a little nuke box, it's one of the first swarm I caught this season, early swarm, probably about a couple of weeks ago or so. I got the other ones, I got four entrances locked, ready to go. I already have dished up or dipped up the oxalic acid in these first three. This is a swarm I just caught the other night. Um, well, actually about five days ago. And I want to get them treated for mites uh, right away before they build up a lot of brood. So, got the entrance closed off here. Bees can't get in, the foragers are coming back home. And I'm gonna take my little screwdriver. Here's the quarter inch hole in the back that I drilled a while back. And I'm gonna just put it in there and make sure they haven't propolized that hole. Okay, Let's see what the temperature is. 370, so it's getting close. It'll get on up there pretty fast now. It's probably gonna take it pretty close to two minutes to get heated up. See, once it gets up around the 350, 400 range, it heats up pretty fast. <clears throat> All right, so what we're going to do is we're almost there. Gets to 450. Now it'll go on up a little hotter than that, but it kind of clicks. Here it click right there. It clicked, and that's when it's met its goal. So what we do is we put the smash it on there like that, and it's in there. So now it's not yet emitting any fumes. Put it in the hole. Flip it over. See, it's still hot. Once I tap it though, you'll see the temperature drop. So temperature drop down. Okay, what that is, is that's when the, the cold oxalic acid hit the bottom of the um, heater there. And now it's heating back up. You can already see some fumes starting to come out around the edge. Now I gotta be careful, I'm not wearing my mask. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to avoid those fumes if I can. It's just easier to, uh, to talk if I don't have the mask on. In the background, you'll see I've got my battery over here. I've got it hooked up to the inverter, and it's hooked up to the to the cord that's coming up to the uh, vaporizer. Okay, look at the temperature. When it gets to 450, it'll click. Okay, it just clicked. So if you look up here, see the vapors coming out from around the hive. So we're done with this one. That didn't take very long, did it? Okay. Got a few fumes coming out. Be careful here. I'm gonna walk around here. It's kind of hard to do this one hand, and I'm trying to just pull that out. It's very hot. 
Then I'm gonna put this in there. We've got these hives blocked off. I'm probably just gonna do these four or five hives here for the video so you can see. And um, got the hole drilled right here. And what you'll find happen, if there's anything blocked on the other side, um, I mean, I gotta tap it, I'll tap it down. See that temperature drop? It did. I'm not sure if I got all the, there we go, got it that time. It'll drop down usually in the 300s. And it's just gonna fumigate those bees, uh, vaporize them. And it, it's deadly for mites. I love using oxyacid acid. I've had much better success with my bees since I've been treating with oxyacid acid. Watch it go up. Once this thing gets rolling, it goes pretty fast. Okay, it just clicked, 450, pull it out, take it off, look down in there, it's pretty much all vaporized, I got to be careful here, put the next one on, try not to breathe too much because I don't want to breathe these fumes, flip it over, it's hitting something in there, there we go. So in just a, I started this video, looks like about five and a half minutes ago, this part of the video, and we're about five and a half minutes in, and that includes the warm-up time for the vaporizer, and um, we're already almost done with our third hive. So it's very quick. The wand method works well. I think it's great to use if you have just a few hives, but if you get very many hives, just from a time perspective, um, this is kind of what I decide to do with my hives. Okay, it's there. Pull it off. I'm gonna move over here, away from the fumes. Cut on a little root there. Come around from this side this time. So I've got a little more oxalic acid in this one. And it's not dropping in there. See the temperature staying hot. Let's try again. There we go. Now it dropped down. See how it drops down in the low threes? We've got the towel in the front that uh, keeps it from escaping. And also while that's heating up being very efficient here. I'm going to fill up the next cup. So that thing's ready to go now. I just, you can almost, literally it heats it up fast, be almost too fast. Almost doesn't even give you time to get ready for the next few hives. So pull this out. That one's completely done. this swarm that I caught. I just drilled the hole. This is the hole I drilled a little bit earlier. There we go. All right, here we go. Tap it in there. Since the swarm has only been here about five days or so, um, there shouldn't be any brood built up. There shouldn't be, you know, this one treatment ought to take care of the problem if there's any mites in these bees um, because there's no brood for the mites to be hiding in. So the does not treat um, beneath the cap, brood captains. See the vapors coming out all around the edges of the hive. That's just how fast it works. It's really awesome. See how strong that is? So, look at that. So, we're done. I think I'm just going to stop here. Um, what I'll do after I turn the camera off, I'll go ahead and plug up the rest of these hives along here. There's five more over here and then one more back, uh, a couple more to do after that. 
and we'll finish it up. But I think that gives you the idea of how it works. You can really knock out this entire section of the video. And of course, I'll probably edit some of this out, but from the start to finish, it took about 10 minutes, including the warm-up time. And I've done one, two, three, four, five hives. And I've kind of explained along the way, I'm actually more efficient when I'm using both hands and, and going quick on it. All right, guys, there we go. Okay, I just finished treating the hives, went well. I did get stung right here, you might be able to tell, using the Easy Vape system. It's much faster, I really like it. It's kind of become my treatment of choice. Every once in a while I might use the wand if um, I'm just gonna do a few hives, but for the most part I like this Easy Vape system. Just thought I'd share that with you. If you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell if you wanna get new videos from me. Thanks guys. Over now. I just got done treating these 12 hives in my backyard. It didn't take very long. Uh, this is an effective system. It works well. So, so I got a video checking out my microphone there.